Dom forgot to plug in the brain to the switcher. Audience doesn't know what we're talking about, but just know we can't. You can't function without your brain, dog. Can't do Don't much. work that way. Mm -hmm. Whoever was paying attention to the story I just posted, we were talking about video game consoles. And I'm putting Len Words back on the spot. Which is your favorite console? What's the GOAT console, Len Words? Oh, man. Uh, see, now I said SNES earlier. But now you're, you're uh, I'm, rethinking I'm kind of going 64. That's because SNES was your old head answer. <laughs> yeah. SNES yeah. was, it shows the difference in a few years. Dude, you're not that much older than me, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what is, hey I see a little. up all these grades. I see, I'm just going to sit there like, like look at <laughs> Angelic Lenward. He was, like, he was posing for a picture when he was like four years old. Like, right. Hey, Lil Duvall photo. said. What, yeah. were the, what were those pictures? Those fun with the with the background. You know what I'm talking about? The little yeah, the, like little yeah, angelic little, ones. Yeah. Then, nah, but what were they called though? It was School pictures. Yeah. Well, they did right. at the mall too though. Yeah. Oh. What were those ones called? Gla glamour. Or oh, the glamour, glamour shots. The glamour oh, shots, oh, bro. Yeah. You remember those? Glamour oh. shots. I never did one. Glamour shots. There it is. Get, I was get never. That. Get, get the Len Words glamour shot. <laughs> I was never glamorous, dog. So I wasn't allowed to have the glamour shots. I didn't live a glamorous lifestyle, you Jason. Do now, bro. Maybe. Speaking of glamorous life, first song I ever learned on the piano. What was it? Glamorous? Glamorous life. Really? That's interesting. How old were you? I was six. Damn, that's something like that. That's yeah. good, bro. Yeah. Damn. Who taught you? Did you have to go to school? You have someone in the family that knew I it? I learned it on an out of tune old church piano. That probably sounds creepy as shit. <laughs> yeah. That probably that was nightmare fuel, I no, think. Not out all. of tune church piano? Yeah, I can already yeah, hear it. No, it wasn't. No, Damn, man, that'd be hard, bad. bro. bro yeah. You need to re rewind, pull up to Jay's piano sessions, piano and coffee sessions in the morning before oh, you yeah. come to the podcast. Right. Record that because I guarantee it's nightmare fuel. I want to hear it. Yeah. Okay. Out of tune? No. Nah. Throw the organ. <laughs> throw the organ on there. Yeah. 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 We could. <laughs> Detune it a little bit if you wanted to. Back to I, mean, I used to do that on my Triton. I would detune, detune the piano. it. Yeah, so stop giving away. It the sounds game. a little. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, okay, you're giving away the game. No, I'll give it away. Tune your drums. Detune your your uh, your keyboards. Game. It's real. Mm -hmm. It's real. We're not going to stop the conversation of Len Word's Fuck old no. head answer. No. Him he, and Ken. He okay, tried, he tried both to, of he them tried to showed, change the subject. Both of them. <laughs> yeah, listen. No, listen. <laughs> Glamour shots. SNES was a big deal because Street Fighter 2 first came out on that. Damn, and that bro. That was, was so hard. So, that was Oh, that game a still. Lot. Goated. That was a lot of shit. You yeah. know what though? A lot of summers. You know, remember lot what, of summers. Remember how we used to no, judge the console? NES, bro. The original I'm OG. Standing on that. OG nah, NES. I, yeah, you nah. still think that's Ken, the goaded? Ken, NES. Y'all are wildin'. Come on. Really? Come on. Wildin'. Uh, that was the first home system. I love the NES. Don't get me wrong. But goaded, I mean it's goaded for reasons. We, we had a couple I'm talking of, about what was what was the most balanced meeting of all the worlds because when we were younger oh, we used to be okay. like we used to be like oh well, man yeah it wasn't the best a NES at all. NES yeah. dropping a new console 16 <laughs> bit what the fuck did that even mean dog i still don't know what bit is what a bit is neither what do is I. it go back and watch the graphics and bit rate you'll see, you'll see what bit, bit no, well, it's, it's yeah. bits of graphics in there it's, you have 16 well, bits yeah. of them if yeah. i if i Pieces. if i know like if i this is correct and it's one bit Two bits, three. I four, thought those were pixels, two, and it though. would fill up. It would fill to enough to fill up. So there was only sixteen of them joints nah. on the SNES. <laughs> <laughs> That's but crazy. Eight, but Nintendo was. Eight look at how bit. blurry all that shit was. Though, yeah, man. yeah. It was you more. We didn't need to it see back then. I, I could be. I, think, I could be wrong about. Yeah, that, I think but. the bits has something to do with like the processor, like the graphics processing mm. speed. Because you remember Turbo Graphics sixteen came yeah. out. It was it was out around the same time the Genesis was out. Mm. And oh, Sega dog, yeah. Sega. Sega, the Sonic yeah, game, bro. <laughs> Sonic game Sonic. was fucking oh, yeah. fire, bro. Yeah. That, that shit was. They had Mortal it. Kombat for yeah. Sega. Mortal Kombat. Well, remember the Blood yeah. Code? Come on, we had to throw in the. There that we go. Yeah. OG, make some fuck. fucking wait, noise, wait, 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 Jay. Wait, you remember the Blood Code? Oh, yeah, no, That's ingrained, bro. <laughs> you, can't, you can't play Mortal Kombat. No. Do you remember? The, do don't you remember the moms all fucking pee pee hearted about the blood? Yeah, they was on like Sunday Night News trying to stop that protest. Yeah. Bro. Now like, look now look at that fucking game, yeah, Doc. Yeah. Now look at games. <laughs> yeah, period. Bro, yeah. if you could take but a that, mom from the that early game 90s. game in particular, though, yeah. bro, look oh, at that yeah. shit. You're ripping hey, fucking bro. heads off. Yeah. The, new, the new fucking Mortal Kombat is bro, sick, is dog. Really? Fuck, I, I, yeah. I remember I, I went over it. there, and uh, you guys had just gotten one of the new Mortal Kombats. This is like a year or two uh -huh. ago, bro. And 
um, Matthew whoop my fucking ass, bro. Like <laughs> five five dink games straight. You was, you was I, I was getting, like, this I was getting cheese, heat, bro. I was getting heated, bro. bro I was all, brother, I was, Matt, I don't know what it is, <laughs> no dog. dog. He, he's Crazy. like he's like a little like video game savant, bro. Really? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. He'll beat the shit out of everybody. Yeah. So it gets to the point to where, like, when his older brothers finally finally win, yeah. bro, they like, just turn, yeah. the, turn the shit off. Yeah, you <laughs> suck. Turn the shit off. <laughs> Matt will go through, that. Matt will go through, like, he'll beat the shit out of them for, like, eight games, and yeah. they finally get one, and they get so turned. It's like they won yeah. the <laughs> finals, bro. Yeah. But it's weird. Like, he doesn't even, like, sit there and practice. He's just, like, good at it. Yeah. Mortal Kombat specifically. That shit was at it. I was all... See me on the 64, fool. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Was like, Throwing the gloves and go outside and catch a fade real all, quick. Right. On the what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> which see brings, you on GoldenEye, bro. Which brings us back. <laughs> yes. I think, I think, personally, and again, this might be nostalgia and yeah. whatever the fuck. Man, the Nintendo 64, I feel, was the peak. It was pinnacle, bro. Pinnacle gaming. Mm -hmm. They changed the controller. They right. started getting, like, the Ergonomic rumble pads. Well, you can have four, four, you can have four, yeah. four people controllers. Yeah. My brother, Mario 64, GoldenEye, Wave Race. Bruh. Y'all don't want to see me on like hey, GoldenEye. GoldenEye, bro, years of my life we were a, spent we on that game. Mad, we played a lot of Madden on that 64. Madden was bro. Like, Blitz. 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 I was about to yeah. say Blitz. Blitz 64. I was big on the racing games, bro. Bro, yeah. you know what game was slept on that we played a lot too as kids was Bomberman on the 64. Dude, and we can't that. forget Zelda Ocarina of mm -hmm. Time. Mm -hmm. Zelda. Oh, what about, um, what was the one with Kirby and uh, Super Smash Bros? Bro, that was when they introduced yeah. Super Smash. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That dog? was a big one. Nintendo 64 was like, it was the, the, it was the peak of where we were, mm -hmm. and it was introducing us to where it was headed. I still think it's the best console. Really? So 64 was out when PlayStation 1 was out, right? Yeah. Well, at the same time. And then after that, PS2 dropped. Mm -hmm. And I think I think the PlayStation Two took the reins after that because then because mm -hmm. you had Grand Theft Auto oh, yeah. Three, yep. that was when they first introduced like the you know first person mode. Mm -hmm. That was a that game was that changed hand, everything. Bro, mm -hmm. that game was sick. Bro. GTA Three changed the world, dog. It really did, bro. <laughs> it, like I didn't even was... hear, but I didn't even know it existed before that. I didn't, yeah, the first it was two just aerial views. Yeah, I didn't. I never liked games like that. I'm like, well, I don't want to watch play this fucking weird ass aerial view game. Get the That's fuck the out of person. here. No, so GTA was like it was like a helicopter, right? Right. It was you could see the whole like town. And, and you like, could see the character running. Yeah, and the then the cars the and yeah. stuff like it just yeah. was. Yeah. Was okay. Okay. Trash. What, did you guys ever play Driver? No, I don't think so. No, I didn't do a lot of driving games. I did Rad Racer it back in the day. Shout out, kid. <laughs> hey, Rad Racer. Rad Racer was Rad fire, yeah, bro. Yeah. Da, 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 Especially da, 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 in the da. arcade. The music for Rad Racer is goaded, boy. It is. It is. That shit is great. You know what was dope? I played uh, Gears of War two. Yeah, so fire for uh, Xbox. On, on Xbox, bro. Yeah. That shit was dope. I, was, I played it with my homie Steven, man. Just do rest, rest in really? peace. Man, but man, it was dope. You could play two player and go down like into like hell and like fight all these demons and shit it was really it was dope dog. Was super yeah dope. gears of war weird it, I, bro we were talking about this yesterday it's weird we were talking doom about on the computer doom bro, doom bro. Quake. what about quake bro yeah, quake too yeah. remember how pissed off that was another one that pissed off parents was yeah, doom, doom yeah. bro remember you could like you're fighting the wasn't devil there, wasn't there a, a, Is that a screen the devil? no but remember you could walk into this room and it had this chick with her titties out oh you're talking about duke yeah. nukem oh i was talking duke about duke nukem, nukem. Yes. that one too yeah. remember there was like a a, a, a tv screen bro. <laughs> had a Listen. pixelated bitch with her titties out <laughs> bro i go back all the way Eight to bits. leisure suit larry Anybody Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry. That was a PC game. That Damn. Dirty. It, it, it was very dirty. It was the first <laughs> time. That sounds like one you don't I want to get caught it, it, playing. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. What's the premise of Leisure Suit Larry? Sounds like he out here pimping Larry, bitches. Larry was just out there kicking it, you know, having a good life. Oh, Larry. Yeah. Man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leisure suit Larry. He was just Damn. right. He was out there and just yeah. leisurely living his life. That was huh? the first time I saw titties on a computer. <laughs> yeah, all pixelated, yeah, yeah, square yeah. box leisure ass shoot titties. Larry, that's leisure crazy. Suit Larry, box yeah. ass titties, yeah. square nipples. <laughs> <laughs> The, hey, but back then, bro, we had more of an imagination, dog. That's true. I mean, we yeah. all watched the illegal channels that were like all blurry. Yeah. You're watching. You're like, I think that's a titty. Yeah. Oh, yup, yeah. that's a titty. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely yeah. a titty. Yeah. Yeah. Don't move, don't move, don't move. <laughs> yeah. That's a titty. And it's all <laughs> now. Now it's bro. We're, we're so we're so burnt out now, bro. It's like yeah, it's a titty. Yeah, big right. deal. What, are them put, what can them titties do? Yes, 
Please put your titties away. Yeah, no. Yeah. Now it's like now it's like if those ain't stepmom titties. Right. <laughs> listen, bro, it, it fucked us up, dog. Yeah, I, yeah. Listen, if I ever see what? somebody in a fucking dryer stuck, <laughs> stuck in a stuck, dryer. Listen, the options. You gonna, you gonna help her out? The options are endless <laughs> here now, dog. You gonna help yourself? It's definitely changed. Ten years from now, if I seen someone stuck in a washer, right? If I seen if I seen a woman stuck in a Nobody washer, nobody gets stuck in a washer. Not, in a not dryer, how the fuck bro. you get stuck in a dryer, <laughs> right? How does your hand get stuck in the garbage disposal, stepmom? Right. Did he put bro. you there? Hey, hey yeah, you're yeah, jumping, yeah. you're jumping yeah, ahead, bro. Jump ahead, you're jumping ahead, bro. Yeah. Chill out, man. We need to take this guy's mic away. I right. think. Nah, it, it, pass the mic to Ken. It fucked up <laughs> as we've un. What is it? Pandora's box opened. Yeah. And we got all of the craziness on the internet. You ain't have to pay for it anymore. And you can see and do whatever the hell you want. I remember, like, you know, my dad came from the era of obviously magazines, bro. That was oh, yeah. that was as far oh, yeah. as their X-rated shit went. Easy Rider. And I started. Uh, yeah. Yep. And when I started showing him some of the crazy shit that was cracking off on the, the internet, internet he, was probably like, he was like, what the fuck's wrong with y'all? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. the hell is wrong with you guys? Yeah. You used to have to drive to Mexico, pay someone like $35 from, and go to someone's barn to yeah, watch the shit that say. you could watch on the internet now. Yeah. So yeah, my dad's like, y'all are some diabolical De motherfuckers. Dirtbag activity yeah. <laughs> up in here. It's that life, man. And on that note... <laughs> Episode 64 <laughs> up in this bitch. You are now tuned in to Respect the Connect. I'm your host, Johnny James. I'm here with a few of my nearest and dearest. JJ Trav, old man Jay in the building. What's poppin' Jason? Post it, man. I'm I like how you say old man. I'm like, it has been introduced. Other, other than, you're, you're, you're young, dude. Yeah, yeah you're the youngest. Like the youngest in the room. <laughs> Listen, like, right, right. I got the mic. I'm controlling the narrative, all right? Oh, you got the boss. What What'd you say about that <laughs> mic? <laughs> I edit this pod, motherfucker. I'm going to have you saying crazy shit. <laughs> Len Words in the building. What's popping and or cracking? Len Words. It's still Cracker Jack season always. But and what's popping, though? But what's popping? Uh, birthday balloons. Birthday popping. balloons yeah. are popping. Champagne? Champagne? Champagne, yeah. Champagne, Bologna, yes. one of those words, <laughs> Bologna. Bologna is just a flattened out glizzy, bro, and I stand on that business. <laughs> Episode 64, make some motherfucking noise, Jay. Yeah. We asked Dom if we were in focus in the beginning, so I'm not even going to ask him because we better be, yeah. right? We are in focus. We right? are. Okay. Where do we start? Oh, video <laughs> games. Yo, yeah, I think, you know, 64 for me mm. is well, Okay, is, so is we're, we're, I mean, but you know, but you guys know that, like, PCs... Yeah, destroy it does because consoles. it just doesn't feel the same. Get another controller, bro. I know like, it's still just weird. Deal, In my man. brain, I know I'm playing on a motherfucking <laughs> PC, man. I don't know. I maybe I'm just weird, I, I and I'm do, the generation of consoles. I I, I I used to play like video games on, on a PC. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't play games very much anymore. But okay. um, <laughs> Mister Don't Play, <laughs> yeah, you know I'm what I'm Play games. <laughs> I ain't got time to play games. <laughs> <laughs> but um. I would rather play like with better graphics. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So like, you could get w obviously get way better graphics in a you yeah. know computer than you can piece, uh, Xbox and whatnot. But now you're able to play with people from PlayStation Network, Xbox yeah. on a PC. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. it used to only be each each to their you own. And your friend. Yeah. You used to have to have friends in your neighborhood. That's yeah. why I think it's changing forever. We were talking about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. I think um, the whole console war shit. That shit's done, bro. Mm -hmm. Gaming is about to like we're seeing where it's going now with like Fortnite and they're not making new games. Like there's no new ground being tackled here. Right. Like it's all they're they're regurgitating older games, yeah. remastering them. And then they're just adding like seasons. Like Fortnite is is it that was the it's, shit it's, that changed it forever. Yeah. Because it's just the game and they update it with skins. Skins and, like, and yeah. seasons and, and different, different maps stories and, yeah. and maps and all kinds of other crazy shit. Whereas before you had to like, okay, I beat Gears of War. Now I gotta wait for part two to come out. Okay, mm -hmm. here's part two. It's continuation of the story. Yeah. It was just different. So I think we're not going to see any like new ground broken there. It's just going to kind of stay like what where it's at. I feel. I, 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 I used to like how I, like I, like I, the old video games. My bad, bro. No, go but, ahead. Like, the, you would like like for some of the racing games. Right, I used to play Rush. It's called uh -huh. Rush uh, Two, right? And so like you would race, and if you beat certain scores at certain times, you actually unlocked like other levels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like different stages. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It wasn't just like, oh, you beat this one, next stage, next stage, next stage. Mm -hmm. You would unlock like hidden shit in that game, which was dope. 
You know what I'm saying? So it know. kept you wanting to play the game yeah, versus yeah. when you're, you're done with it and I'm just like, I'm done. I'm not going to ever play this game again. Yeah, yeah, you would do like crazy ass jumps and try to like hit these keys and Mountain Dew Cokes, bro. Like cans <laughs> in, the, in like in the air. It was dope, bro. It was cool. So then you unlocked extra cars and all that extra shit. Uh, so yeah. they, I'm sure they kind of do that to some extent. but No, no. Now they want parents they to want, just pay money. And then you can unlock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like, better not you, fuck you around and attach your debit card to <laughs> yeah. fucking Fortnite, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> fuck around, be broke as a bitch. Or your, yeah, or your home computer, because that shit loads so much crap oh, on yeah. your computer, bro. It just slows your shit. I hate that shit. Yeah. My son put Fortnite on there. I took that shit right off. I was like, <laughs> fuck that. He was like, Dad, can I play a game on your computer? I was like, fine, man. And I'm thinking, you know, just get on a website, play a game, bro. He was like, I was like, oh, I thought you were playing your game. He's like, it's downloading. I'm like, what the fuck is downloading on my computer? <laughs> you ain't never heard and of viruses before, yeah. my dog. And I'm looking at it, and this fucking Fortnite is like running in the background like two, three days later, still like doing shit. That's in the crazy. Background. I was like, bro, I'm turned no. I took all that shit off. Crazy like, business. Fuck that shit, man. Computer's no. super slow, bro. Yeah, it, it was, man. Like, I, I just. Fuck around and give your computer tuberculosis. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Some of those when they when they run in the background like that. Yeah, I don't. You're I don't, fucked, man. bro. Yeah, they they do, they're doing play. all kinds of shit. But that, that's game. why I understand the concept of a console is because to have a computer dedicated to games, that's what I mean. Separated. That, makes, sense. that, that makes, makes perfect sense. That's why now with like a lot of my stuff that I shoot with my new camera for vlogging and all the content, I'm so glad I don't got to do it on my phone no more. This camera again, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, they need to give me a motherfucking endorsement. But to be able to separate it, like my phone's my motherfucking phone, right? Yes. It's a phone now. Well, yeah. I mean, still use it for other stuff, you know right. what I'm saying? But I don't have to film all the content on there. Right. It's a game changer. Same thing with, that's why I think I... I I stick with that because my computer is my computer, right? I like it. And my, my console is my console. It's funny, though. I was thinking about it when we were having this conversation yesterday. There's just a separation in, like, like the way it's, like, nostalgia and generational. Like, mm -hmm. I'm curious, what's, what's your favorite console, Dom? Um, my favorite console, I mean, I feel like. The Xbox 360 is just like special because that's like. See what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. See, his thumbs down for him. <laughs> It'll give you some rings of death, but. Yeah, <laughs> and see, I, I I think the Xbox 360 was fucking fire too, because that was that was when bro Halo, my dog, was like perfected, fucking uh, and but okay. see again, that's the console that he really grew up okay. with. Okay, maybe mm -hmm. the 360, and I'm just salty about the Xbox, like the first one. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. The first <laughs> one was that, yeah. but that one's a beast. It still works to this day. Yeah, that shit was a bulky fucking monster. Right, yeah. right. I, I With have, that have, big ass green X on the top of I it. I have a PS4, but that fucker sounds like it's about to take off, dude. It's like, <laughs> I've always, I swear, it's gonna bro. fly it's out like of like your room. I have to like have my surround fan. sound on so I can watch a fucking movie. Bro. I'm, I'm, I'm low key kind of a hater on PlayStation because I've never really like. I was more like I went from Nintendo, yeah, Sega, Xbox. Got you. That's like, well, that, I mean, Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega, Nintendo, Xbox. Mm -hmm. So I never really had a PlayStation. I was always the Xbox gang, and I still am, bro. I, I, you know, I never bought a PlayStation, but I used to love my homies. Uh, when we were kids, one of my my boys, uh, Dion, used to have a PlayStation, and we played Twisted Metal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hours, bro. You like, know what? So Twisted much, Metal was bro. pretty fucking fire. We bro. were on that Twisted Metal for for days, bro. For yeah. Like days. Damn, that was that was a whole vibe though. Do I remember, yeah. bro? It was Friday. Go and rent a fucking game, rent one that you didn't game. have, my dude. Yep. Get some pizza. You remember how mad you used to be when you would get there and, and the, the game, game wasn't game there? Oh, it was checked oh. out. I'd go after worker. The case. Hey, did you someone bring it back? <laughs> or, and you'd be like, it's right there. Hey, no, nah, I got like, good at it though. Before oh. now, I'd call, I'd be like, hey. You got this in stock. Yeah, someone's supposed to bring it back today at like six. I'll be waiting. I'm like, is that game? Is that <laughs> yeah, game? Yeah, the door yeah like, bro. They, they, drop drop in, they drop it in. Like, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Fire. That's crazy. It. <laughs> it used to be like Blockbusters and then uh, Hastings. Al but Albertsons had a little movie and game rental section. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so, so did Smith, remember? Yeah. 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 Same thing, yeah. bro. And then, it was like a little small little. It was like the size of this little spot right here. But. Yep. They had, did too. they had Cruising yeah. World. Yeah. They had all kinds of shit, dog. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, we had grocery stores doing that too. But mm. there was nothing like that Friday vibe, dog. Mm -hmm. When you had a new game, yep. some pizza, the homies, you knew you were gonna stay up till like four in the morning, bro. Yep. That was a whole that was a whole time. Yeah, that was before you day. could like now you still can, you know, play video games with your homies, but they don't have to be there. So you're kind of separated. It's Back then, fun. you had to all be there, bro. It's not and as when fun. you bro real, it's real hodasos, brother. Yeah. 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 Between me and my yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like my, my house smelling like kids. 
Like, you like know, a lot, like a lot yeah, of kids. You got a lot of kids in and out the yeah. house and then they sleeping over and shit. It's just like, ah, man. And the room, Bernie bro. Bernie Mac yeah. had a really good saying. <laughs> yeah, he said, uh, <laughs> fuck them <laughs> kids. <laughs> hey, there they goes. Fuck the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, bro. Yeah. No, that was man, I do I do remember that. But I kinda like, yeah, I kinda wish my 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 son and daughter would have that experience of just like hanging out with your friends. I remember and that like, we'd really get like the, donuts in the morning, fucking, yeah. and, and then we'd play games and then we'd go outside and play basketball for, yeah. for you know, Bro, the game hours. that always started the most shit with me and my brother was Blitz. Yeah. Really? No, no, no. Okay. Blitz and Mortal Kombat. Because my fucking brother would do the same goddamn leg sweep over and over. And it was the only way he could beat me, bro. But one time specifically, I remember we were playing Blitz. And I was fucking beating the shit out of him like every every single time. And he finally beat me. And he was talking hell of shit. And, and he beat the fuck out of me, bro. Right. And he was talking hell of shit, bro. And I just I fucking snapped, bro. It was a Nintendo 64 controller. Mm, yeah. I chucked that fucker <laughs> at him, bro. Hit him square in the face, oh, dog. No. Bro, crack. I can still hear the crack in oh, my ears oh, now. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he like screeched. My mom heard it. Bro, my mom beat the brakes <laughs> off me, dog. You remember them controllers, dog? And we yeah. had a rumble pack on that bitch. <laughs> yeah, yikes. That was you like, uh, I could have been arrested oh. for assault, dog. How bad Damn. that was. Yeah. Bro, I, but I instantly felt bad because I had beat the shit out of him. He was so proud that he beat me once, and you I couldn't take, take one take loss. Couldn't take it. Yeah. My, my, I couldn't take one. I was such a poor sport. I couldn't take one loss, bro, and I mm -hmm. fucked him up. Bro. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Justin. I still feel bad about it. These, it's 30 years later, some shit like that. I'm still <laughs> talking to my therapist about it on a weekly basis. Man. So let's Damn. shift. We got to shift the conversation yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. We'll spend so, the most time on that. Uh, when I came in here earlier, I had kind of been seeing this on the internet a little bit and kind of like did a little bit of a deep dive, but it still freaks me out. Did you know that there's people in the in the world that exist that do not have an inner monologue? An inner monologue? Like that voice you hear when you're reading a book or you're reading a sentence. Like the voice that I that's hear right your, now saying like that, the voice, that is not possible? Exactly. <laughs> like the voice in your head that you hear... Like it's audible to just you when you're mm -hmm. reading or you're thinking. There's people in the world that don't have that. Says who? Says the people that don't have it. <laughs> just kidding. That shit that's kinda, kinda that's trippy though, dog. Like it it yeah. really is, bro. And like as we were talking about it, I started kind of like scrolling and I found a couple of examples. Am I connected to Bluetooth here, Jay? I should be, right? Let's see. Should be. I'm not. So I found a couple of examples here, and I want to go to the doctor example. I think I seen first. If I loot the, this is the one you showed it. me earlier. Yeah, but it, okay. oh, here it is. Because this, this, before you showed me this, I was just like, that's horseshit. I don't believe it. I'm not connected to Bluetooth. Let's see. Let me disconnect and then reconnect. So. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Like, just hearing about it, I was like, what the fuck do you mean you don't hear a voice yeah, that inside doesn't your make, head? Yeah. Like, you don't got a fucking conscience? Like, what, what, then what the hell do you hear instead of an inner monologue? Let's see if I could connect. What's That's it called on the it's Bluetooth? Just, it's waiting for you, Roadcaster. It's Roadcaster Pro. Pro. Let's yeah. see. Come on, connect so we have clean audio of this. That's got to be like some sociopath. There it is. Well, that's what I oh, thought see, at first. That's what I thought too. I was just like, man, that's a weirdo. Okay, hold on. Let's listen to this doctor explain it. And just so you know, audience, I don't know. This fucking guy's a doctor. His shit says he, doctor he says in his handle. <laughs> this right. dude could be some any. Yeah. See, it could be someone that's trying to teach karate, like Ken was talking about. <laughs> Go to Doctor J Trav's YouTube. Oh yeah, he yeah, has, yeah. He has some shit too. Okay, so this dude. So right here on the screen, I keep starting it. God damn it! So on the screen, it's showing that there's a sentence to read, right? And man, I suck at this. <laughs> I feel like a boomer right now. So on the screen, audience, there's a sentence that's brought up, and it says, can you hear this sentence in your head right now? Is someone narr narrating it when you're reading it? And then here comes the doctor to talk about it. If your answer to those two questions were yes, then congratulations. You have an internal monologue or inner voice, at least some of the time, a silent production of words in one's mind. Why do some people have inner speech? Well, we don't really know. There's a theory that it helps to simulate or process thoughts or actions before we actually carry them out. Why do some people not even have an inner voice? Again, we don't know. One of the many mysteries of the mind. If you don't have an inner voice, there's a good chance you experience images, emotions, and sensations instead. For example, deaf mm. people tend to experience their inner voice visually. Instead of hearing an inner voice, their inner language might be visualizing lip movements or hand signs so 
That okay, that makes sense. See, I that's what see I'm that. saying. But it sound like a crazy person. That shit still first. trippy as hell, but, bro. Yeah. But I that's the body a- though. That the body, if you you know, if you don't have that sense or you don't have that function, you, you know, the body will try to give you enhance other senses that you right. do have. But that's not the just people. Wonder effect. But look, here's another one right here. Look, this so one I found. Blind. This one they they walk up and they interview <laughs> these people. Let's see, let's see. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I Johnny lost over it. here playing playing ads, man. I'm trying, I'm trying not to. Well, anyways, I'm not gonna do that because I lost the video. But okay. they were interviewing people and on the streets, and they're like, read this. And she's like, well, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, read this. They're like, did you hear a voice? And she's all, no. Well, then what did you do? She's like, I just kind of visualized what what those words are. I'm like. What? what? So they asked her when she reads a book, right? She like imagines herself in that circumstance of the book. Instead of hearing the words in her head, mm-hmm. she like sees it. Right. Brother, that's fucking insane, no, bro. No, that's To the, me though, because I don't see it like that. That's, that's crazy. But that's the desired effect. Like that's when you're writing something and you're trying to get someone to visualize, because that's what screenwriting is. Mm-hmm. You have to write pictures. Like you have to describe pictures in a way where people will like be able to see it as they're reading it is is it's an art to it i can do that but, but i also hear people, my voice yeah but some people like yeah. just i hear your voice stick. too don't i know it's, it's crazy <laughs> i got headphones on <laughs> no. but if i mean if you're reading like some stuff like the bible you know you're not going to visualize this person begat this person begat this person like that shit you, yeah. you know you're not visualizing that it's a it's it's a different kind of entertaining if you right. visualize that's crazy. <laughs> if you yeah, visualize the I mean. Bible, psycho like, activities, I see a lot of violence, <laughs> psycho activities. What about everybody here? Does everybody have an inner monologue? Ken, Dom, you guys hear your voice when you read something? I hear like five different voices. <laughs> okay, well no, we'll we'll, we'll revisit that conversation <laughs> with your <laughs> psychiatrist. <laughs> yes, I do. I do. So yeah, yeah. I've says yes. I've heard. Um, I think it was KRS one. Yep. explain this as like that being like the fourth dimension yeah that's, that's a, a great voice. that's a great talk yeah i think if so people too. if you haven't heard that go look up not now watch this episode yeah after this later, <laughs> yeah after this and i can't look it up because i'm gonna yeah, fuck it up yeah. play some ads <laughs> and shit you saw how long that took me to do look up on youtube um krs1 rock star yeah, rock when he star. explains, yeah, when he explains the rock star analogy and the voice in your head, and how that's a whole like that's evidence of a a, a higher level of consciousness, man. Like he just goes in on it. It's great. Uh, it's, it's a really it is. good talk. He's sitting in front of like he's in, like speaking in class. Yeah, and it's a lecture hall or something. Yeah. Yeah. And that'd be dope to see him kind of like talk about something. You know, I wish, the, the bro. He's come out here, but he's like performing at Sister, which you know obviously is cool, but. I would love to see, like, see and hear him, like, on stage, just, like, talking about hip-hop, talking about the origins of the art, like, talking mm-hmm. about that history. Yep. I'd pay to see that more than I would want to I pay think, to and see And he does do that out in New York, but... Yeah, like, but, like, I don't know that he does it, like, touring, like, you can book him. That would be super that would dope. Be, like a TED Talk. Yeah, like, he going around doing hip-hop Imagine TED Talks. Imagine a TED Talk with KRS-One at Sister Bar. I'd be oh, some bro, shit be right there. there. So I would, would I, be, bro. Yeah. Front row, dog. <laughs> yeah. With all the questions. Because he's seen it all. Yeah. And he's yeah. like still regarded as like, bro, he's on one of the forefathers. Dog. Yeah, no doubt. And his 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 intelligence, right? He's just, just you know, some people are smarter than other people. Yeah. And not in every every aspect, but in certain aspects. And some of the things that he talks about, especially that one right there, bro, mm, the it, it made, and that, that's what I think kind of like made me see some people be like, well, I don't hear a voice. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean you don't hear a voice? Right. Everybody Fucking has psychopath. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? Like, I can't even imagine. That would be, I, sometimes I wish I could turn that motherfucker off. Right, right. Because, yeah. He be thinking some cra- thinking and saying some crazy <laughs> now, shit. Now you're disassociating no, I know. the voice of your don't, don't be blaming it on yeah. him. Nah, I'm starting that, bro. I'm walking nah. down that path just in case. I'll see how you got there, dog. Yeah, just in case. Johnny's working on his defense early. Yeah, I'm, but you ever think some shit that you're like, damn, yeah. fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or am I the only one that don't be trying to just no. let me be this dude? So I get that. I get that from you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, bro, I would be in church whenever we were like being raised strict Catholic, and I would think I, I, for some reason being in that situation made me think the shit that I wasn't supposed to be thinking yeah. in church. Well, I mean, dirty thoughts is one thing. I'm talking like 
violent fantasies and shit. No, I've never you had. Know. Well, I mean, you've never thought about, you know, bro, someone that needed to disappear before. Bro, okay, listen. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to word this? Oh, yeah. Okay, here's the thing. We've all had like those ones because I don't want to like act like I'm on the edge or anything like that. But you know how people like have those road rage incidents? Yeah. I And I'm not like this anymore, but I used to get like so fucking angry when people would like cut me off or like aggressively drive or whatnot. Uh-huh. I was just like, you know what? I'm actually really glad I don't have a, a weapon in the car. Because yeah. I might do something stupid. And we've you know seen how that plays out. Yeah, exactly. And that's the, that's just so tragic. I can't even imagine. No. But that's one of those things where it's like, I understand how people can become overcome with emotion and anger and then just like be susceptible to those thoughts and stuff like that. I think everybody has them, but it's like whether or not you can control them. And when you learn to control them, I think they kind of quiet down. Like, yeah. I don't think you hear it as much. Well, that goes with, I mean... Brother, I've been working on my mental side of things for years yeah. since I started having all my fucking mental issues. It's been a, a, a long fucking journey, dog. We're talking like fucking 20 years now, bro. Mm. And I'm still, I still sometimes feel like I got both hands on the steering wheel, but sometimes I don't. Yeah. Sometimes there's only one. Sometimes there's none. Yeah, but sometimes not, I'm tied up in the back seat, bro. <laughs> you got but one hand not. on the steering wheel. Yeah. One but hand you, on that. that pussy. <laughs> Shout out to Chain. Shout out, Doc. A wise man will say. All right. <laughs> but you're not saying, um, you're not talking about psychosis. You're talking about like anxiety and so on. Anxiety yeah. and, you know, just a lot of different, different things. Like you said, like if you can get your hands around those type of thoughts. Mm hmm. Um, even not having psychosis, not even having anxiety, I think a lot of people don't have control over their thoughts. Right. Intrusive their thoughts. Ones. Yeah, intrusive thoughts. Their right. thoughts control them versus mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. controlling the direction of your thoughts. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of stuff that you can do, bro. Like your brain is constantly working. So you have to be constantly working to, to, to stay in the driver's seat. To feed it. Mm-hmm. You got to feed it. To feed it know. and keep it under control, dog, because mm-hmm. your brain will just go. If you yeah. let it, oh yeah, it like and then that, you, we're not even just talking. We're just talking about the conscious brain. We're not even right. talking about the subconscious the sub, well, the, brain. Yeah, you give something to your subconscious brain, like you no longer have control over exactly. it. Exactly. Like, like you have some, like you can regain control, but it'll just go off and start creating circumstances and that nine that times out of ten aren't real. even real. Yeah, but right? it can really fuck your head up when you start like oh yeah seeing things and hearing things mm-hmm. and like all that shit or, where you can have a conversation with a stranger and you're like why'd you just say that yeah no why'd you say it like <laughs> that yeah no because that other person would like no like yeah. you can really get get into the rabbit hole with those thoughts and I've, not I've, I've experienced that not yeah. having uh the ability to control your thoughts like that mm-hmm. is fucking dangerous bro especially mm-hmm. coming from someone that does have mental issues yeah. right if i don't if I don't build these barriers and and know ways to control it, brother, I can I can spin definitely out. lose it and yeah. spin out, bro, yeah. because it's so powerful. And the moment you lose it, man, it feels like you go back to square one. Right. Like, damn, I fucking lost it. Here we go again. <laughs> All this work over. <laughs> is over with, and it's not because I think back to like when it first happened, like, and I I was, what the fuck is going on? What mm-hmm. the fuck is happening? I would look around at people and I'm like. I feel like shit. How come you feel like what the fuck? What what am I doing that you're not doing? Like how come I feel horrible and you feel great? And like and I don't understand the it. Same thing. Life the same yeah. way, but no, we're not because yeah. I'm fucked up over here. Yeah. And you know, over time and and different methods. And I remember again, I would lash out at it. I'm like they're like mindfulness. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Mindfulness, get the fuck out of here, bro. But. It's a way of grounding yourself when your thoughts do start spinning out because you have to be here. And it goes back to all the stuff that's been taught for you, the esoteric, esoteric, Mm -hmm. like all of this stuff has been written about because they know as human beings, our mind is fucking powerful and it can take complete control. So if you're not in control, it's controlling you. Yeah, Or or it's being controlled. Exactly. So the the whole mindfulness thing, right? At at first when, you know, a couple of therapists like brought it up, they gave me pamphlets. I'm like, get the fuck out of here with the mindfulness. What the fuck? But (laughs) it does. He threw them away. I did. With the birth control pills. I did, yeah. (laughs) Obviously. (laughs) It went where the birth control pills went. This motherfucker got a bunch of, hey, this motherfucker got a bunch of kids and ain't mindful of, of shit. You ain't mindful of shit. 
You're stupid as <laughs> fuck, bro. <laughs> but like, you have to like kind of ground yourself, right? And right. when you're having like a severe episode or anxiety attack or panic attack or manic episode, right? If you can just look around and be like, okay, like, you know, like white door, mm -hmm. black mic, water in a cup, brown table, you know, that type of stuff, it starts right. Right. walking yourself back. Right. My name's not Mike, though. <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, Dom Dom got Black Mike. <laughs> My name's not too. Mike, though. <laughs> hey, that, that's what we're going to call the episode, dog. <laughs> Sometimes the universe gives you moments, <laughs> dog. You got to take them. <laughs> Land words out. Yeah, that's cool, but my name ain't Mike, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, you have to have ways to bring yourself back down to earth. Right. And it's taken me years. And again, I still haven't perfected it, dog. Yeah. I still haven't. I still can't control, you know, sometimes. Sometimes I have both hands on the steering wheel firmly placed, but other times, one. Other yeah. times, I'm fucking tied up in the trunk. <laughs> how the fuck I get out of here let me out right now yeah. like but I've done the work now and you know certain things again you know I'm psh, fucking cold plunges again it's one of the main things that I've taken away from now right. being on almost a year doing it it's not just the physical effects or whatever the fuck not just because I look like a badass motherfucker <laughs> yeah this motherfucker jumping in ice yeah he's like sub-zero <laughs> jumping in ice <laughs> when you're in there you have to find your breath right you have to be totally in there to not jump out. That I think. Well, you like, have to be in control of your body completely. You have to be. That's why it's finding your, your breath. Mind probably, yeah. You have to find your breath first because your body lashes out. Mm -hmm. And everything in you is like, nope, fuck no, can't do this. Time to get the fuck out. Yeah. But you have to sit there. You have to find your breath. Once you find your breath, then you got your hands on the steering wheel, dog. And then you're in com complete control. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. When you, when you take that same mentality over into like mental struggles or, or your thoughts taking control of you. Mm -hmm. Now I have the ability. I'm like, no, 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 no. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Right. I'm in control here. Right. It's taken me years, dog. And that's similar to uh, one of the techniques I've applied and learned over time is, is just if you know that thoughts can either be useful or not useful and you don't really like personalize it where it's like that's my thought i'm gonna keep it it belongs to me that's his thought that's his idea i reject it yep. and you just say here's an idea that came my way came from you came from you came from the ether and wherever landed in my head mm -hmm. is it helpful do i need it and you're just you're just paying attention to these thoughts like you're saying when you jump in that water and the, your mind starts rushing and your body's like, get out, get out, get out, get out. It's cold. You're going to freeze. You know, you can't breathe. Mm -hmm. And you just start, why, why, why do I think that? I've done this so many times. Yeah. Why do I keep getting in this water? Mm -hmm. And every time my mind keeps telling me, oh, you're going to freeze. No matter theory. how many yeah. times. And you, and you start to like disassociate and you realize, oh, this is like a mechanism. It's not me. Yep. It's just how my mind works. Mm -hmm. So you, you're no longer like, personalizing in us uh, immediately like associating yourself with your thoughts and when you create that separation there's just enough room for you not to exist without an ego so you're no yeah. longer stuck in the future or in the past where you're worried yeah. about what's going to happen or you're you know obsessing over what already happened that you didn't like yep. and you're just sitting in the cold water and it's cold but I'm good, mm -hmm. you know, and exactly. You find your breath and you and then you could sit there You're for four minutes. Control. Yeah. And it's no big deal. And see, meditation was another one that I kind of lashed out at, too. Mm. When they first suggested, I'm like, bro, here we go. Get, here we go. <laughs> you want me to start eating granola bars and shit now, right. too? Like, but dog, it's all there. This this isn't new stuff, right. dog. You need to quiet your mind because right. it's fucking loud, which again goes back to what we talked about. That's why it's hard for me to picture having a quiet mind. That's yeah. crazy to me, yeah, dog. Yeah. But to them, we're probably, we're probably <laughs> crazy to them. Because even and now, like you as, hear voices in your head. Even now, as I'm talking to you guys, yeah. my fucking mind is doing five million different <laughs> things and thinking a whole bunch of different scenarios. Well, I gotta go get gas. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> but see, and see, I think what's dope about yeah. us having a podcast and be able to sit down and talk to each other, I feel like it has gotten me better at being fully here in the moment for the conversation. Right. 
some people that's just very difficult to do bro mm -hmm. because you're looking at somebody and you're trying to listen to them but either you're waiting for your turn to talk or you're thinking about damn i gotta get gas groceries and then you come back to the conversation it's like damn what did black mike say you know what i mean <laughs> so it's like it's it's a trip bro and i i I think the reason that it really stuck out to me when I heard people say that they didn't have that inner monologue yeah. is because I've had to fight mine for so long. Right. So yeah. I'm like, but it's like, how do you how do you think things out then, bro? You know what I'm I saying? It's like, I didn't, like with, yeah. without that, because you know, I wake up, I'm like laying in bed, I'm like, right, I'm gonna stretch, do a quick workout, I gotta do this. I guess you would see yourself stretching. And you would see True. yourself working yeah. out. I mean, Instead see, of I, hearing do, I do that too, though. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. So we got the best of both worlds. Yeah, right. you know Fuck these non yeah. inner monologue having motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but it's just like that. That's it's just kind of crazy to not crazy. It's just it's different for me to think like, well, how do you prepare for your day without uh -huh. like having that going through? Or okay, so I I think I can speak to that a little bit because I've been practicing this, which is just getting getting in the habit of visualizing things before they happen. So um, there's mm -hmm. this exercise in this book that, I, that I'm reading for like the fifth time, but it's a great book called Success Engineering. And this guy is talking about how he um, makes sure that he always has like front row parking no matter where he goes. So he goes a place before he gets there. He gets in the car before he turns the car on. It's just, you know, a, an exercise for him now. Mm -hmm. He just imagines that when he gets there, his parking spot is going to be open. So even if it's busy, it's the busiest time. He, he just imagines, oh, but when I get there, somebody who has great parking is going to pull out and be leaving and I'll take that spot. That's my spot. And he imagines that he, you know, that happening. Then he turns the car on, doesn't think about it again. And he's just pre-programming his mind for events and stuff like that. I think some people operate like that where they just visualize and like emotionalize and experience. And that's how they prepare for them. But they don't you really know what, think about like, oh, I got to do this. Like st verbally, they're not thinking about it. They're yeah. just imagining it, which I, I is, which is really powerful. That. Well, yeah, that, really powerful. that's almost the same thing as like put it, put it out into the universe. It's like manifestation. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm well, saying? Yeah. That, it's that process. Yeah. yeah. Just You have to visualize it. And, I, you know, whatever you believe, whatever, I don't know. But <laughs> you can believe what you want. But to me, prayer and manifestation are the same thing. Yeah. They're the exact same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, I've, I think I've talked about this before. The homie's an atheist. The other homie's like complete, like Christian. Like I'm talking like Potter House, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and they were going at it. And I was just sitting there. I'm like, both of you guys are fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Same motherfucker, just the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. And the atheist homie was like, wow, I don't need you to pray for me. I'm like, bro, you're dumb as fuck. Fucking idiot. You don't need someone to put positive energy out into the universe for your stupid ass. <laughs> Good. Don't pray for this yeah. fucking idiot. Yeah. Hope you fall down a well. Yeah. All it is is, <laughs> is pray. Bro. Fuck that, bro. It's right. dumb. Like, it, like the, the arguments, the same argument on yeah. each end of the spectrum. They're it's the same for thousands motherfucker. Yeah. They just don't get it. They don't get that you're the, the positive and the negative, bro. You yeah. gotta have both, and you're the same, you're the same magnet, you fucking idiot. Right. But they're that it's like Prayer is just an expression of positive energy into the universe, to God, to whatever you believe. It's an expression of positive energy directed somewhere for you, for me, for you, for, for this. God put this here for me and you. <laughs> Take advantage, man. Take advantage. I think that's what manifestation is the same thing, yeah, right? I, I just, agree. I feel manifestation in the way that it's taught now and the way that I've seen benefits from it mm -hmm. is... Instead of just praying, you know, God, will you please um, make sure that my family's safe? Or God, will you please, I, I don't have enough for rent. Can you please send me a miracle? You know, mm -hmm. I need to make whatever, whatever. The words aren't as powerful as the action of actually visualizing yourself there. Right. You have to already be that person, right? Yeah. You want to be um, the CEO of your own company. Yeah. You got to visualize yourself as that CEO. You feel what I'm saying? You yeah. can't just sit there and pray the words. You gotta, yeah. you gotta move like it too, though. You gotta yeah. move you gotta like gotta it. Move like it. Exactly. I think, I think that's why people consider words to be like the worst form of communication or one of the weakest forms of communication. Language is very, very powerful, yeah. but depending on how you utilize it, 
it can either be your bars or it could set you free. Does it translate into action or they just well, fucking it, words? It, but, but here's the thing. What you're talking about, when you're talking about prayer, um, you know when tragedies happen and people always say, oh, man, here they go with the thoughts and prayers again. Uh-huh. Man, this is bullshit. Why don't you send money? Why don't you change laws? Why don't you fix it? Thoughts and prayers are actually more powerful than that because those are the predictors, like the precursors to that external change. You have to change your mind first. Miracles only exist in the mind. Miracles only happen in the mind. When Jesus told uh, the leper, you know, like when he's healing people and all this stuff, he's convincing them that he can see them healed. They don't see it. But once they see it and they believe it, it they now, it, they're now healed. They can mm-hmm. walk. They can see it, like all this stuff. That's the same thing that we're talking about. We want things to manifest and be better and change and all that stuff. But it's like thoughts and prayers are the precursors to that actual external change. For sure. Money moves after that. You don't just like, oh, I'm just going to throw money in and solve this or that or whatnot. It's like, no, the people have to change the way they think and and believe. And money is also just as, I don't know, not real as thoughts and prayers. Exactly. 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 Just because you could physically it's, touch that piece of paper, it doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean doesn't yes. even represent anything anymore. Yeah. Well, it, it, <laughs> it's not backed by anything it's anymore. It's only backed by your faith and the power that, that we give it. Can, yeah, I believe so, this is worth a hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> and I believe that if I give it to you, you'll give me a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Exactly. Or stuff that I think is worth a hundred dollars. There's no we'll tangible physical there. product yeah. behind its worth. No, we've just given it its worth. Yeah. Same exact thing. Right. But see, the thing about that is, is our thoughts and our energy can be measured. We've seen it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a little difference here yeah. because. Again, you know, money is just, it's, it's, an, uh, it's a means to an end. That's mm-hmm. the right word, ends to a means, whatever, how the fuck ever yeah. that goes, right? It is not real, right? <clears throat> so if that is your, your main goal, chasing something that we do need to survive, don't get me wrong, right. we need to be financially stable or figure out a way to live off the grid, which also costs time and money. Mm-hmm. But what you're doing with money is you're exchanging your time here on earth. You're putting mm-hmm. a price on it, right? <coughs> My time is worth X amount of dollars. It's worth this yeah. nine to five. It's worth this mm-hmm. nine to five. My time is worth this. Mm-hmm. So that's the only power that we're at. Like we're giving it that power. Right. Correct. Right. Yeah. But if you're out here just chasing the bag, mm-hmm. since you're chasing something that is powerless, yep. once you get it, I don't think you're going to fully be satisfied. Yeah. Because there's no gonna, substance yeah, to it. Yeah. It's not going to so, give you. <clears throat> Happiness. I got a question for you. I was just, I was I was uh, chopping up with one of the homies at the bar the other day, and he was and he asked me this question, bro. And he goes, um, "If you were like, a, if you were a billionaire, right? Mm-hmm. You've conquered everything. You're successful. You have money. You can just go and do whatever you want. Is that would that get boring to you? Is that like the end? Are you done hustling? Are you done enjoying life? Like, I mean, you're you've conquered it all. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think. If you if if I was sitting on a billion dollars that I could just plug and play like it's liquid, um, no, because then I'd be able to invest in other projects and be able to get other things rolling. So I, my mind's not going to be like once I did something because I wouldn't do anything to create a billion dollars for myself. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I would actually want to give value and then get the billion dollars worth in, in exchange. Mm-hmm. So I don't like so whatever I did, whether I made a blockbuster movie that just, you know, kicked ass and everybody wanted to see it. Great. That's value. I get money. Cool. Now I'm going to use that and utilize that to like re recycle that energy Mm -hmm. because it does nobody any good sitting in a bank account. Mm -hmm. Cause it's not real. Yeah. Because it, yeah. And why would you hoard it? Like the Mm -hmm. universe abhors a vacuum. Like the universe cannot stand for there to be no motion or no movement. Like the universe is constant. So, yeah, if I had a billion dollars, like, I wouldn't stop. I'd, I'd wake up refreshed. I'd probably go on vacation and take a, take a break. But, <laughs> yeah. like, but, you know, chilling and making it a habit to, like, take breaks and stuff is one thing. But just to sit on money and just, like, there's nowhere to go. You can't disappear. You can't go flying off into space by yourself. You're still here. You still got to deal with people. Still, still got to live. Gotta, yeah, you still got to mm-hmm. piss and shit and eat and all the rest <laughs> of it. So it's like you got to live your life. Just because you got a bunch of money or no money 
like doesn't mean anything stops. Like everything is still moving mm-hmm. and everybody else's life is still going. So I think you know. we've said it multiple times. It just amplifies who you already are, what you would already be. Yeah. Right. You know, you have the money if you're going to be a lazy fuck and you have the money. Yeah. You're probably gonna be an extremely lazy fuck because yeah. at that point you ain't got to do shit. You got the money <laughs> to be a if lazy you got it fuck. For nothing, like, yeah, yeah, yeah for like. Sure. You but that's why people who tears. inherit who inherit money. It's like you're not the same as that entrepreneur who built that no. on their own. Well, because you don't. Not, I don't feel. I don't. You're not, you're not emotionally invested, bro. Yeah. Until you lose it all, and then you're like, "Oh yeah, fuck, oh, I had sure. it made. I Damn, something out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You mean I gotta go fucking get a job? Right. Like, I, I, I can't I, imagine that. Though. Yeah, I'd be. That's I don't know. I'm glad. I, I swear, bro. I'm glad that I was not born that way. Yeah. I, I, there's times when I'm like, man, I wish I just had a fucking trust fund or a nest egg. Yeah. But now, you know, looking at who I become and things that I've seen, fuck that. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad I had to grind right. up from the motherfucking bottom. Yeah. And those people don't have no problems. They have a different set of yeah, problems. Yeah. Their sure. problems are just different. Yeah. It's just exactly. different. Which it's kind of hard to relate to. Yeah. Like you guys see. I don't know. I know you guys aren't on fucking TikTok or social media that much, but there's this uh, influencer. She was at the Met Gala and she was dressed up in this fucking dress and she used this audio where it said, let them eat cake or some mm-hmm. shit like that. They went hammer time on really? her. Oh, bro. Well, because they're like understand. these privileged. Yeah. Well, it was like, it was yeah. kind of like Hunger Games, right? right? That's like what they were comparing it to. Yeah. They're like, look at these rich fucking bozos. We're out here struggling. I can't pay oh, the rent. Shit. I can't fucking buy groceries. And these fucking weirdos are over here having the time of their life talking about let them eat cake. No, no. Okay. It's the same thing like homie that whenever whenever yeah. the strike was. Uh-huh. He's like, I'm rich enough to just wait all you riders out. Right. I don't give a right. shit. Mm. Now, let me ask you something. That sentiment. How do you feel, how do you guys feel about that? Do you think that's the right response? Like wilding like out when, on them what, for what, well, what she posted. Well, no. Well, yeah, that. When you see other people living a luxurious life, is it correct to be like, man, fuck that shit? No. I I don't think it's correct. I think it's hard not when you're struggling. It's hard not to look at it like, fuck them. Why mm-hmm. do they have it and I don't? Right. Yeah. I think that's the easiest mentality to take. Gotcha. Because you're like, why? Why not me? Yeah. Right? But that's you, an easier. Do you, do you think that gets them the results that they're looking for? No, absolutely okay. not. Because uh-huh. that's the, you're, you're operating from a place of negative energy. You're mm-hmm. operating from a place of jealousy. And mm-hmm. I've said this before. Like, whenever I was coming up, I used to operate on the proving my haters wrong. My haters, my fucking haters. <laughs> fuck the my fucking haters. ops. The ops. <laughs> fuck my haters. I'm going to prove my haters wrong. Yeah. And then I came to realize that I was operating from a negative space. Right. So the basis of what I was doing, the foundation, was wobbly because it was from a negative frequency. Mm-hmm. So when I started thinking, no, fuck, they're going to hate all they want to. I don't give yeah. a fuck, bro. Lick my fucking balls, right? <laughs> But when I started operating from a space of, I'm not going to prove my haters wrong. Yeah. I'm going to prove the people that love me right. Yes. Because yeah. you're, you're, okay. you're putting a, a different energy out there. Yeah. Bro. When yeah. you're trying to compete with this negative yeah. bullshit, that's, all, that's no matter what is going to get negativity thrown back at you. So right. why would I want to like, use that instead yeah. of all the people that do rock with what I'm doing? Mm-hmm. Fuck the people that don't. Because yeah. then, because then you're gonna drop, you know, not you, but you end up dropping content that the people that do rock with you, they don't, they don't fuck with that content. Yeah, nah, dog. Nah. Well, because it's from and, a then, and then the, the people that don't rock with you, obviously, <laughs> like, ain't gonna, I got you. They, they ain't gonna fuck with that content yeah. either because they're just hating. Or they're gonna feel like they won because it's like, oh yeah, now he's moving yeah. like this because I made him move this yeah. way. Yeah. I'm affecting him in some sort of mm. way. And again, like I said, when I was younger, I thought that was the move. Because, but then I realized, nah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm already fucking up because I'm operating from a place of negativity. Mm. So it is easy. That's easier. We say this all the time, bro. It is easier to operate from there. I don't know why as human beings, it's, just, it's probably because you say that's a low, it's a low vibrational frequency. Mm. So it's easier to attain that low vibrational frequency, yeah. right? You get so when you first. see, get there first, <laughs> yeah. right? Some people make a home there, get real yeah. comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool here. This is perfect. This is easy. I'm chilling. Ain't going uh, higher. Yeah, ain't going no higher than this. I'm cool. You'll see them all in the comments, dog. Right. Go find them. They're sitting there real comfortable. Uh, those other ones are harder to reach. So when you see somebody 
that may have more things than you live in a more luxurious lifestyle. Yeah, they are out of touch. Yeah, they don't know what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. Again, just go read or watch Hunger Games. But then a lot of the times, too, though, they don't even li- really live that lifestyle. It's fucking credit, bro. Yeah, some of them <laughs> don't. You're right. You know what I'm You're saying? Right. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some, like, you know, some trust right. fund kiddos yeah. and whatnot, but... You're right. For the most part, I, I think everybody's just flossing on... Yeah. on Especially IG. on the internet. We said yeah. it before. Why do you think there's so many filters... On the internet. Yeah, true. Well, I think there's uh, there's definitely uh, an editorial effect that's happening because anybody who's presenting themselves publicly is trying to look good in public. Yeah. They want people to think I'm a good person. I'm brother love. And here and we are. They, and they find out you brother tough love. And you know now <laughs> we have entered the final oh, form shit. of episode 64. Oh yeah, that's which right. Which was gotta, so I'm that's that. that's okay. <laughs> Talking about rich people that are completely out of touch, that get whatever they want. They're out Mm -hmm. of touch. I think certain people, again, we've said it. If you're a shithead, you're going to be a shithead. I don't give a shit. If you got $1 or $1 billion, you're just, if you got $1 billion, you can be a more advanced shithead. (laughs) You're fucking shithead 2.0, dog. (laughs) So yeah. I think that's like where it is. Like you have these people that have this money and they've attained this glamorous fucking lifestyle. They do not understand out of touch with reality. Right. And the reality is most people will never, ever, ever get to see or experience half of that stuff. Right. So you can't, you can't freak out and get back on the internet when you post some completely out of touch shit that you face backlash for because most of the audience are not going to rock with that because they're struggling and you're out here talking about let them eat cake Mm -hmm. i didn't even see i didn't see that post it's the same thing as it's just any shit that's happened like that with the homie i go back to homie because we talked about a bunch of times i call him homie fuck that dude he ain't the homie for lack of a better word in the moment (laughs) saying i'll just out I'll just starve out these writers. Oh, I have yeah, more yeah. money. I'm going to sit on my yacht. Y'all go ahead and starve when right. your rent's due. Then you guys will come crying back. Come back to work. So that's that out of touch <laughs> shit. Yeah, that was foul. Yeah. And I think they feel like they're untouchable and the world owes them everything and they get this fucking God complex. Yeah. Like Mr. He did fucking do it. <laughs> Diddy Combs. Definitely did it. Definitely did it. Sean Combs. Bro, mm. seeing that every every... Every single spot that posted it, it came with the warning, right? Mm -hmm. Graphic, you know. And my brother, the biggest type of bitch is a man that puts hands on a female, dog. Okay. He went, he went even further. Oh, I know he did. He went, it wasn't just. Oh, no, dog. I yep. mean, he he violated so many unwritten rules. Kicking, you don't kick a man when he's down. Like nope. all that shit, bro. Nope. Like, he, bro, he punched her from behind. Yeah, dog. hit a man who couldn't defend him. Like, oh, bro. bro, even if that's a man, like you don't know. That's not no. how you fucking fight people. Like, Every on, single bro. piece of code of conduct that should exist as a man, yeah, he completely violated. Completely. Yeah. yeah. That if that wasn't the AI and that was really him, then. There ain't no way that was AI. Yeah, no, that <laughs> was, I don't know yeah. what the technology can nah. do, bro. I don't know. No, you know how I know it wasn't AI? <laughs> because he, as, he fucking watch, apologize? watch, as we bro, that sat was AI down too, here, bro. that's all AI. The you could, AI. No, I've seen those videos where they're AI, but you yeah, could tell you it's could tell. AI. So bro. as we you sat did. down and we're setting up, we're setting up the cameras and all that shit, I seen it. We didn't listen to it all the way because I wanted to save it because this Goes against everybody saying this might be AI. And the first person to post it was 50. Let's listen to what he had to say about the incident. Oh, let's go. Hold on. We fucked up again. Let's go. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. Mm-hmm. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. Disgusted. You should be. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Mm. I went and I sought out professional help. Oh my God. I had to go into therapy, (laughs) go into rehab. Oh, rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. 
Don't bring him into this shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Exactly. Truly sorry. Well, that was the worst possible move he probably could have done from a PR <laughs> yeah. standpoint. He had to own it, man. Like, what's he supposed to do? Uh, probably not say anything still. That's great. That, no, that's the end, though. Silence ain't going to win. Silence can't win that, man. Uh, nothing can win it. We talked about yeah, it before. Man. Exactly. Okay, we said it when we were talking about this a couple episodes okay, back. Go. Why was everybody so quiet, right? Everybody, oh, no yeah. one wanted to stand. No one wanted Nobody's, to stand with yeah. him. Yeah. Why? Because these motherfuckers knew, bro. They knew that he was this fucking type of motherfucking individual. Mm. There was receipts. And again, I don't, I don't run in these circles. I don't fucking know. But again, just from outside perspective, fucking yikes, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now- Yeah, that video was hard. To, that, it, that video was crazy. Yeah, bro. See, bro. Like everybody was like, well, why did they settle so soon? That's why. Yeah. He, he <laughs> attacked a so defenseless he, he person. Just, he just yeah. said that he- that yeah, he just admitted was, to a whole article. The, the AI said it. <laughs> <laughs> he admitted to it across the board. And again. So, but um, I mean, it's, it's, they can't do anything about that case, right? Because it's, right. it's past the uh, statute of limitations, right? Yeah, it's about, even, even though he just fucking. Yeah. Well, you just said a second ago, like a lot of people out here are flossing, but they're getting over on credit. That just ruined his credit. Mm -hmm. Not only in the community, but with like professionals, business people, like. That fucked his shit up because that's that's why people hide. That's why they hide that part of themselves. And when it gets out or something, they'll pay money and try to, you know, like slide somebody some cash and, you know, put some makeup on. Her that's what he, did. Know, like he that. did. That too. He moves like that because yeah. they don't want to own that this is who they actually are and this is how they actually move. And see, that's why that it'll fuck up their credit. Like that's people why that will not fuck with them. That's why that apology video bothers me because. Why? He's only mad that he got. He's only. Mad he's he only. Got he's only mm -hmm. sorry that he got caught. Exactly. That's he's why he said he's sorry. not asking for forgiveness. No, because like, he doesn't want to be forgiven because yeah. he's not sorry. Imagine what's not on tape. Yeah. Imagine if yeah. he's if he's willing to do that in a fucking hotel hallway. Mm -hmm. What is not on tape? Well, that's not okay. That's not really fair though. That's not a fair argument to make. You don't think so? Well, no, because. A lot of people throw their whole lives away making split second decisions, doing the dumbest shit, and regret it for the rest of their days. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can, he, I, he's yeah, say, I've he's seen that. Saying, he's saying this was me at my at my darkest. Now, do we really believe that that was like the lowest shit? This is what you're talking about. Probably not. But we can't we can't persecute people for evidence that's not there. That that video is evidence is evidence of what of that was. It, yes, exactly what that was, and probably what the nature of their relationship was. But that girl didn't leave him immediately. She stuck around, so she was getting something out of being there. You know, I don't think she was. Mm. Bro, do you really think she she didn't have agency enough at any point in time that she could have just walked away? Okay, I at that. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, yeah if a motherfucker look, look, chasing you look, down look, down the hall, like. You gonna get, but, <laughs> and, but, but look, but, remember earlier I was like, "Where the fuck is everybody on that floor? How come nobody helped her?" Yeah, right. Yeah, Johnny was like, uh, he, he probably, probably bought the bought, bought the, the, fucking the whole floor. floor. I see what you're saying. You know, what I'm saying? like he has saying. that type of power, and well, he did. You're running yeah. in that circle, bro. Like, and see, where, I, yeah. who can she really? Run I've to? seen, That's true. and I've seen That's women true, too. too, bro. Like they're they're so. I don't know if I want to say the word love. It's that they're, Stockholm shit. There's exactly mm -hmm. they're so in love. It, it's a mixture of love and fear. Mm. to where they get in this like this rut and this repetition to where it's like and i've seen bro like when you you look at the woman right mm -hmm. physical specimen whatever completely beautiful inside and out but they're stuck in this just nasty relationship with this fucking dude that's a, just a piece of shit right? and you're like how could you stay there right mm -hmm. it doesn't compute mm -hmm. And it just it doesn't but i've seen it time and time again where like they're just stuck dog like i don't know if it's if it's Fear, I don't know what mechanism or what emotion they're operating under, mm -hmm. but they just stay there for way longer, bro. And some some women, bro, don't make it out, dog. That's There's true. women that have That's been true. beaten to death. 
That's true. And you have even cops talking about that, right? Like mm-hmm. you have, you know, certain cops would be like, yeah, you know, like I knew this dude was a piece of shit. Right. I knew he was going to end up doing this. Mm-hmm. And she stuck around and she stuck around. We tried to, even after the, 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 exactly, we here the domestic violences yeah. the la- and, and look what the fuck happened. What he did. Because like we said, yeah. In order, mm-hmm. in order for someone to do what he just did right there, mm-hmm. that's next level, my brother. Well, it's like what Jay's saying. He's been operating with impunity for so long yep. that someone like her probably did did feel like there was nothing, like nowhere she to run do. to. She could do, you know, he had never been prosecuted. Like, And if you've seen someone who actually does crime, who has power and influence in the world where you're like, I know what you're like behind closed doors. But then I see you in front of people and they love you and they think you're great and, and everything. Different. And it's like, I, that, that person's just another level of scary because it's like, fuck, like, how do you hold them accountable? And they got the money you to know? do whatever they want and the mm-hmm. connections. They got the money to fight whatever. And think about yeah. what, what, kind, of, to them. what yeah. kind of, what kind of, who knows, bro, what kind. And again, this is all, again, now we're talking on like alleged stuff, right? Mm-hmm. The video, 100% accurate. Fuck that motherfucker. Well, yeah. Do not rock with that piece of shit. Fuck him. If I didn't make it abundantly Bro. clear before, right? <laughs> Fuck him. But now let's go to the stuff that we don't have actual physical evidence yeah. of yet that we're just, you know, now to be allegations. Well, yeah. What I mean, kind I of blackmail it's... or what kind of videos does he have of her or other people that did keep them from not going? I was just about that to say. That did keep them quiet. I was just about to say, I think it, I think it speaks to character. Because mm-hmm. what you were talking about earlier, uh, before cameras were on, we were talking briefly about this, and you were saying that people were saying um, when it comes to Kim Porter, yeah. that Cassie was a willing participant of what drove that woman over the edge because she was Diddy's girlfriend. So if you're the favored son, you're going to think you're special. You're going to think you earned your spot when, when in reality... One bitch, two bitch, three bitch, four. Like you know, he don't see no difference between Doesn't you. Doesn't give a you shit. You know, he thinks y'all are exactly because he obviously just cares same. about himself. Exactly. Point blank. Period. Exactly. Right. So that's why. That's why I say I don't mean to you know blame her for what he did to her, mm-hmm. but what I'm saying is sometimes we find ourselves in situations, and the hardest thing for us to do is to accept our responsibility in why we are here. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I don't want to say that I chose this. But I chose it, you know, like somehow on some level, I either thought I deserved it. I thought I couldn't change it or whatever, but I accepted it for myself, right or wrong. This is where I am now. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's a permanent choice, but it's a choice that I made. And when you don't, when it's always I'm a victim and someone did something to me, you're taking that power from yourself. You're giving giving it to someone else. And, and, you know, people probably did that when it came to, to Diddy. They were just like, you know, he's going to make, make give me a career. He's going to, you know, yeah. like change my life. And he probably at some point was like, I'm out here changing lives. I'm yeah. giving people careers. And it's like, well, Bro, not he, really. He reached know? a point where he thought he was untouchable. And exactly. he was God. And he obviously at the core of who he was, was a piece of shit. Yeah, a flawed. Yeah. I mean, we're all <laughs> flawed. Extremely flawed. Yeah, that's extreme. Extremely flawed. That's extreme. That's sure. extreme. And then, he, again, now going, like, if this flew, mm-hmm. what else is about to start to fly? Well, I mean... Does he? What else does he have going? Like uh, obviously he's, all kinds of. He, he's, go got, he's got that album fuck? that Johnny's still listening hey, to. Hey, fuck that! Hey, we're <laughs> no, gonna stand we're on that, it. Stay on that. Stand on hey, it. <laughs> it's it's crazy because the only album I ever listened to that motherfucker was that R and B one. I was like, wasn't bad. Now and you don't even listen to R and B. No, no. That's how much of a fan he. That is. was AI, yeah, dog. Yes, that was AI. A freaky ass. <laughs> hey, that was AI, dog. <laughs> That, hey, but he's lost everything else that he was. So revolt. Sorry, we're we're parting ways. Everybody <sighs> now is running for the hills, bro. Yeah, bro. Everybody's yeah. running for the hills, which again to me speaks volumes. Yeah. What else is out there? You keep hearing all these people that are conspiracy theorists on the internet, which I just they're just people you want to call them conspiracy theorists that see some truths and stuff. It seems like a lot of truths. Is being revealed in 2024. Yeah, it's the year of like pulling the veil back, dog. Right, right out the gate, out bro. the yeah. gate. Fuck, just truth on top. Of, you're like it, so it's shifting the perspective on how we're looking at everything, because look at the people running for the hills. 
Yeah. I don't want to be associated here. What, like, then think about it. Again, I'm glad we don't rock with none of these fucking weirdos, dog. <laughs> ain't no fucking video footage of us doing weird shit. Right. Did he thought he was so safe he made a comedy about himself? Exactly. He thought That's he was true. so safe That's he showed true. the world how he was and get him to the Greek. <laughs> It's yeah. a similar, bro. The scene's the yeah. same when he's running down the hotel. The only thing that's missing is the fucking towel. <laughs> it's crazy oh, business, diabolical, dirt bag activities, Len Words. Indeed. You think he's going to uh, be the only one that goes down, or you think he's bringing the ship down with him? Um, no, I think he's the major distraction right now. I think he's the sacrificial lamb for whatever group of. You know, individuals he runs with. Yeah, like that whole group of people is just like, hey, somebody getting kicked out of the boat this year. Yep, it's you. Yeah, because who, who got the short, who got the short straw? Yacht yeah. party. <laughs> who got the short straw this time? Well, you know? uh, and but it goes back to like not just because we want to kick this motherfucker off the boat because mm -hmm. yeah, he probably did do some shit to piss off the people that are in the boat with him. Yeah. But they're like, look, we can kick him off the boat because. You are a piece of shit, and right. we're going to show the world how much you are, yeah. right? We have so much evidence to show how much of a shithead you are. Mm -hmm. We're easily going to kick you out this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That whole fucking situation is crazy as That's fuck. Wild. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, I feel, you know, f I, I feel for the women out there, not even just women. Women aren't the only ones that are in... Um, Abusive bad abusive relationships oh right? yeah they're not no i a feel lot, there's a lot of broken fucking men yeah out there who exactly are getting a, a, yep. emotionally and verbally abuse getting they ass whoop let's go and just <laughs> for i real. feel bad for anybody that is an abusive relationship regardless yeah. man woman whatever right because it does seem like they feel like at certain times it seems like they felt like they deserved it mm. so they're staying there yeah. right like this is I don't even know what movie it was, bro. Um, but they say that we we receive the love that we feel we deserve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that resonated with me, bro. I'd agree with that. 100%. Because, and, 100%. Yeah, because you see it, right? You see people, in, and again, you question this. It's like, well, from the outside, again, you know, you look at physical beauty or whatever, but you yeah. look at certain individuals and you're like, well, why are you still there? Yeah. Why are you putting up with this shit? And it just kind of goes back to well, maybe I, I burnt the eggs, and he does. You know, no, but that's really yeah, what it is. It's yeah, like little yeah. shit like he doesn't that. like the eggs like that. So it yeah. was my fault. So I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have liked that picture on Instagram. She doesn't like that, yeah. right? I, I should. It, it's got to be right. my fault, right? Yeah. It's got, and it it just. Got, I think, well, it's sad. yeah, and it's I think really as, yeah, as, really as sad, time, as wow. time though, like, and yeah. you get, you, I feel like if you get stuck in that situation mm -hmm. and you get comfortable there, right? What is that? You sit and shit long enough, you don't smell it. True, very, very, very true. Smell goes away. Very true. Or and, and you know, you got to remember, a lot of people are really, really loyal. So. Sometimes they don't want to be that quitter. They don't want to be the first one to say goodbye. They don't want to be the one who broke up the family. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's the right move. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you cannot stay with this person because they are not going to help you become better. They don't support what you, you know, are looking for. And, you, like, you guys are just not simpatico when it comes to, like, goals yeah. and life and shit like that. That's an easy enough thing to, like, say, no, nah, I got to walk away. When somebody's putting their hands on you, that should just that's an automatic no like nobody should be putting their hands on anybody else mm -hmm. unless it's consensual and it's you know like yeah. <laughs> like yeah. that's what we're doing or self-defense yeah it, it, yeah but even even for that it's like don't attack me <laughs> like yeah. don't touch me leave me the fuck you alone started. you can yeah. say you can say what you want to say you know we can have a conversation a debate we could disagree we could walk away but it's like what martin 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 king said he was like you you got to learn how to become how to disagree without being violently disagreeable. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to be able to just say, well, you know, I just say it a different way, bro. Yeah. And it's cool. You know, when, when you get into those personal relationships, man, that's just a gray area because some people like, oh man, I don't want my kids to grow up in a divorced family. Yeah. You know, and I'll you know, sacrifice this is, no matter this what. Is their, this is their dad I, I and I'm not going to take them from their dad. But at that point, it's like, what, what it, what is the the benefit of that? Or, but, if the well, kids okay. see you for thirty five years, they're yeah. growing up, and you guys, yeah. you know, you and the, the spouse are mm -hmm. arguing every fucking time. True. 
how how healthy True. is that upbringing for those kids? You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily a logical choice. You know, it's not necessarily someone who's thinking clearly. Sometimes they're just trying to tell themselves, I didn't make a mistake. I did the right thing. And here's why. Boom, 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 boom. Well, and when you operate from an emotional place, you generally make illogical decisions. For sure. For sure. And when the family's involved and stuff like that, like you're usually operating from an emotional standpoint, mm -hmm. regardless of what it is. Yeah. So you're not going to make the most logical of decisions sometimes. Yeah. And then I'm sure it's different. Obviously, I don't have kids, but like I'm sure it's different when there are kids involved it's a because. It's a whole different ball of wax, bro. You, you want to yeah. look out for them. Yeah, you know for sure. Because th think about that abused man, that man living with that just shrew, that woman that is <laughs> yeah. just like miserable and just taking him down every day with him and he got kids with her is he gonna stay you know like she breaks your heart every single day but you're gonna stay with her why well i don't want to be without my kids i don't want to be you know on child support i don't want to you know like mm -hmm. there's so much there's so many things that are scary to people that that outside world is scarier i'm just gonna stay in the haunted house because when you're the sacrifices the sacrifices yeah. that you make for your kids are are times a million right mm -hmm. so you will put up with shit that you wouldn't put up with never because especially never. if you're a good parent and you care about your kids there's people out here running that don't give a flying fuck yeah. i'm talking about the good parents the ones mm -hmm. that care about their kids and are there and present there's time there's my brother you will sacrifice your personal happiness for the happiness of your children. Is that the right decision? Fuck, I don't fucking know, right? But at the end of the day, those are the type of decisions that you make as a parent, right? You're going to sacrifice things just for them, you mm -hmm. know? And I, I, I don't come from, like, my mom and dad, they never got married, but they were always together. So I don't, I don't understand, and I, I don't, I mean, I understand it, but my perspective isn't from like divorce and I mean, I'm not trying to put your business out there but I think you've talked about it a couple of times so your mom and your dad you know separated how old were you when they separated uh, I was in sixth grade so <clears throat> from your perspective of being a child from like separation do you feel they made the right decision like did it did it affect you like do you, do you look at things different I mean obviously you'd probably look at things different because of it but mm. what do you remember the most like about it well, they, I mean, they they did argue. They did fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was I was at the age where I was kind of aware so I could see like yeah. see what was going on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I I could tell my mom was stressed or, you know, sad. Same thing with my pops. You know what I'm saying? So, me like yeah, I think I think they did make the right decision. I'm sure right. they didn't want to get divorced, right. you know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to start something and then halfway through call it quits. Yeah. You know what I mean? But given that circumstances it's like well if they're not happy mom's not happy dad's not happy yeah. it, how the fuck are me me and chad gonna be happy yeah. you know what i'm saying so yeah. if we're constantly seeing that and chad's he's six years older than me so he was you know almost out, out of the crib at that yeah. point you know right. what i'm saying so but yeah I, I mean looking back like i i can't i can't be mad because they split up because shit yeah. dude I'm, I'm not there to, right know, yeah. Yeah. that ain't my relationship but you know, if the if you have to if you have to leave, there's people that and organizations that will help you out of a bad situation. Mm -hmm. and get some help yeah. if you need. So unless you're a man, then nobody's coming to save <laughs> you. <laughs> no. Then you, you gotta better, do it all on you your better own. Better figure it out. <laughs> yeah, pull you up better, your bootstraps. You better throw some dirt <laughs> Be on that a man. damn shit. <laughs> better throw some dirt on that damn shit. Be a man. That. Way to go, Larry! You just yeah. fucking <laughs> fucked up everything. <laughs> took the tip. <laughs> you just took the air right out of it, Len. <laughs> everything cool I just said, you ruined it. <laughs> Len words was like when Drake dropped "Meet the Grams" thirty minutes after fucking Family Matters. I couldn't go an episode without uh, without bringing it up a little one more time, dog. This is over. This is it over. is over, but I had to say it one more Drake time. One. You talking about that old school shit? You talking about that old school shit? Motherfucker said it wasn't gonna S work. S N E S shit. That old head, yeah. that Ken and Len words <laughs> shit. Hey, a big graphics was the shit at hey, one point in time. God. Okay, that what was, what was the the photo shit we said the glamour shot land words shit, Dude. bro? Out there. <laughs> oh, that's what I was trying to say. Lil Duvall the other day because he's got gray in his beard too, yeah. but he got some diamonds in his grill. He said, "Look at these diamonds. They match the gray. This is perfect." Ah, <laughs> I'm so, in my diamond. So we need to get so I get some diamonds. We need to get land words yeah. chain. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. Chain RTC chain. It's coming. You Damn. know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think, fellas? Are we getting the fuck up out of here? Or what else? Is there anything? Else? Oh, let's. Con okay, okay. No, 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 no. I want to. I want to give more time to to, to that what? one. 
to I which thought one? You, oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Well, we can't touch okay. on that one. Okay, yeah. okay. That one's so, too big of a conversation, and so, I know oh, our audience is gonna love before, it. Before before we completely you know step off of that moment, I want to ask Jay again. Uh-oh. Again, not trying to put your fucking business on blast. All right. But since I don't, I, I didn't. It didn't happen for me when I was a kid. When you were when you were younger and they separated, like. Do you remember it? Like, how did you feel mm. about it, dog? Like, were you like, were you fucking upset? I mean, I'm sure you were probably upset, but like, how did it affect you at that age, not now? Um, obviously, you know, like my pops moved out, you know what mm. I mean? So that right out the gate is, is was different. <clears throat> but real, like real talk, it affected me, like my schoolwork, you know what mm. I mean? Like, and like emotionally, so I acted out at school, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Barely like going and, and whatnot. So, but... Again, like seeing like seeing them always arguing or like walking right past each other, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But like they have a really good relationship now, bro. Like right. they're, they're friends. They, Some people are better, like yeah, that, bro. You know? Like, you know, yeah. So they might not have been able to reach that point if they didn't if separate. They, no, and when mm-hmm. they did separate, like there was a couple of years where like they didn't want to see each other. Right. You know what I mean? Like I would get dropped off over at my dad's, and then yeah. you know he would still be like depressed, bro. And mm-hmm. it was like it was a sad situation to see that shit. You broken know what I'm fa- saying? broken families are so hard. Like people. It's common for people to talk about it, how it affects women and how it's difficult for women. You know, oh, she had to pick up the pieces and mm-hmm. single mother and all that. Bro, that shit crushes men. It crushes men, like puts them into depression. Mm-hmm. Men are more suicidal. Like, yeah. like all that stuff happens at a higher clip for the men because that shit is just so hard mm-hmm. for, for them to deal with. You well, know? We're not, I feel like women... Not all that you can't mm-hmm. paint with a broad brush, but women are better at processing their emotions than we are. Mm. They they just are. Like I, I don't know. If people always say they're more emotional or whatever, but mm-hmm. I feel like they they're more in tune a little bit with their emotions and mm-hmm. they can process them better. We're taught not to process them. We're taught just throw some dirt on that damn shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strap up your boots and get the fuck to moving. So when something breaks. It, it, we don't know how to deal with it. We don't yeah. know how to process it. And I think is that's the, part of it. Yeah. Is the thing broken or am I broken mm-hmm. is the question that a lot of men are obsessed with. Is my life broken or am I broken? And I think you a know? lot of us land on the, I got to be broken. Yeah. It's got to be me. me. I got to take yeah. the blame. It's got to fall on my shoulders. Right. Yeah. I got to take the brunt of it. I carry, I carry all the weight. It's my for the responsibility. Family. It's my, yeah. I picked her. Like, it, what did it, I do wrong? Yeah. What did I do wrong and how can I fix it? Because men are fixers. Mm-hmm. Women are feelers. It's yeah. just how we're wired. It, it is. And we're again, wired that way. not everybody. Yeah. Not everybody. Don't, don't look yeah, at us like we're saying generally, 100% everybody. Yeah, generally. But generally, that's just yeah, how yeah. people are built. So, man, I think as, as, as I get older, I'm getting better at processing some of my emotions. Mm. I'm getting better at not letting them completely control my decisions. And I don't know if it's just time. I don't know if it's me focusing on trying to like learn that shit. But I don't want to be controlled, bro. Like that might be what it boils down to. Yeah. I don't want someone to control me, even if it's my emotions. Right. I want to be in control. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think I'm getting a little better at it, dog. Yeah. Well, I told you, man. When I learned how to like get the reins on my ego and recognize it and see it and hear it when it's happening. That's when that voice in my head got a little bit quieter till eventually it doesn't say a lot of the things, most of the things that it used to say. And it's kind of like a computer just kind of running in the background, just like waiting, waiting for a prompt, waiting for a direction. Mm -hmm. But it's not like, oh, you got to do this. You got to do this. Notification, notification, notification. (laughs) Because that's how my mind used to work. Virus is coming. Turn all the notifications off, dog. Exactly. You got to do that in your head. Turn them all off. I like that. That's a good way to get the fuck up out of here, Land Words. Let's go. Take care of yourself out there, audience. Fuck Diddy. He's a piece <laughs> of shit. No, don't. Take yeah, that, take no, that, yeah. Take that. And don't fuck let that, and dude. don't let him. Yeah, <laughs> nah. Get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> take care of yourself. And you're a ba- if you're in a bad situation, change it. Change it. Change it. Change Do your yourself. best. Change, change yourself. Be better. Do better. Episode 64. Until next time, respect the connect. Peace. It's pick the neck.